Ukraine fighters under fire from Russian-backed separatists. Russian military moves largely unchecked in this part of Eastern Europe. The U.S. and NATO military response? Some of the biggest allied military exercises ever. 13,000 ground and maritime forces, nearly 50 ships, more than 60 aircraft. And they aren't done. More is on the way. Good morning. Meeting with U.S. allies in Europe, Defense Secretary Ash Carter announced the U.S. will increase pre-positioning of heavy weapons. American rotational forces need to move more quickly and easily to participate in training and exercises here. We will temporarily stage one armored brigade combat team's vehicles and associated equipment in countries in Central and Eastern Europe. It will include nearly 90 battle tanks, 140 armored vehicles, and some 20 pieces of heavy artillery to be stored in the Baltics, Romania, Bulgaria, and Poland, brought out for future training exercises. A message to Russian Putin. President Vladimir Putin. It is a, an indicator of what we are prepared to do. Uh, when I think a few years ago, he believed we were neglecting the continent of Europe. He thought, okay, it's, it's now my time to attempt to influence uh, some of the NATO nations or the European nations to swing back toward my side. After the Air Force talked about putting F-22 fighter jets in Europe, Putin fired back. If someone threatens our territories, we will have to aim our armed forces and modern attack capabilities at those who threaten us. What else can we do? If Russia were to move against Europe, the U.S. has also committed to contribute weapons, aircraft and troops to a new NATO rapid reaction force. That's the key message. The United States still sees its European partners as being critically important for security.